Lee, we know Slarag is a global brand in many, many high industries like aerospace and medical, for instance, but we're here at the Manufacturing Solutions Island event, but could you tell me a little bit about what the Irish market actually means to Starag? Well, for us today, the Irish market is all aerospace, and uh, which is great, but we want to, we want to expand on that, and, and there's a big opportunity for us in medical in Ireland and other industries as well. Now, Boomatech, uh, you, you sell a lot of Boomatech machines into the medical sector. Is, is that correct? It is. I mean, Boomatech is, is small parts for us, small, high precision parts. It's watchmaking and predominantly medical, medtech, uh, micro mechanics. So, of course, in this region, there's a lot of medical business. Sterek, from a global point of view, Lee, you're very strong within the aerospace sector. I suppose technology transfer into other sectors like medical is a big benefit, isn't it? Well, it is, because we focus on aerospace and energy, transport and industrial, and then precision, which, which encompasses medical and, and, and watchmaking. So the message for, for, for the Irish market is that we really want to get into the medical industry as well, and, and Boomatech is the brand that we're taking to the market. And any engineers in Ireland that actually want to see your machines practicing cutting metal, they say, can you actually offer something in Ireland, or do they have to come across to the AMRC, for instance? Well, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, they've got to come across to either AMRC or, or to the plant. We've got a number of centres globally that's, that focus specifically on, on uh, precision small parts machining. So they could go to Germany and Switzerland or they could come to AMRC and, 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 and do some live machining. Or we can obviously come, come across as, as we are today to talk to people. We're, we're looking for specific projects and problems that, that people want us to come and, come and help them to solve. You've got quite a complex part uh, from a medical sector in your hand, but what I'm really interested in though, how does actually Starag approach a project in the medical sector? Well, you, usually we look at the component and we see how, how we can machine it in a single setup in the most cost effective and efficient way for the customer. You've got a number of different products here, but this has caught my eye. Now, is this quite a basic product that you've got here? Well, this is a great example. It's a medical part, it's ephemeral ball. So the market came to us and they said, this is currently three different machines, it's hand polished afterwards. So we developed a solution where we manufacture this component from bar, two operations, no manual intervention. We grind and we even super fine polish the surface of the component. And when it's finished, we put it in a rack on the machine that's finished and we start again with the parts. So fully automated, hands off, machining process with very very high surface finishing accuracy. The market does talk about automation quite a lot in a big sense as in large volume large parts but you also got automation on smaller parts then? Well you, you, you can automate one-offs so we can set the machine up so you could do 20 one-offs unmanned overnight over the weekend or you could do a batch of 20 off, 200 off, 2000 off. We, we can configure the machines to suit whatever the requirement is. So when you look at the Irish market, Lee, do you actually see growth in both aerospace and medical here? Well, surgical instruments and trauma are key areas in medical, and that's really where we want to focus. In aerospace, both on the engine and the structure side, again, we're, we're, we're having success. And any engineers that are watching this video, what message would you give them to talk to Starag? Well, we're, we're looking for applications, we're looking for problems, we're looking for areas where we can help people with a solution. It's either to improve quality, to take time out, basically to improve the profitability of making parts.